All right, now Samsung offers some amazing AI features on the latest Samsung Galaxy phones. And we love these features. Some of you guys use almost all the features in day-to-day -day life. Some of you guys may think that this is just a gimmick. You may not use anything, uh, but there are so many features which are actually quite useful. All these features are currently available for free. However, in a significant industry shift, Samsung has indicated its plans to introduce a subscription-based model for certain AI feature on the latest Galaxy phones. And this is gonna happen from 2025 onwards. This move is likely driven by a combination of factors including the increasing computational demands of advanced AI, the desire to monetize cutting-edge technology, and the growing popularity of subscription-based services across various industries. Now with the launch of the latest Galaxy devices, the Galaxy S24 FE as well as the Galaxy S10 series, Samsung has reconfirmed that they are going to charge for the AI features from 2025 onwards. Now if you look at the press release articles of these products, on Samsung's website. In one of the footnotes, Samsung says Galaxy AI features will be provided for free until the end of 2025 on supported Samsung Galaxy devices. Different terms may apply for AI features provided by third parties. Now this really confirms that Samsung is going to charge for the AI features. There is no clarity when exactly they are going to charge in 2025. Is it from January itself or it's going to uh, take some time for them to strategize and uh, start charging for these AI features? We don't really know that. For now, it is just confirmed that it is not going to be free from 2025 onwards. Now there are some very important AI features on Samsung Galaxy phones like the call assist, chat assist, interpreter, note assist, transcript assist, browsing assist, photo assist, drawing assist, photo ambient wallpaper, health assist. Now these features are currently available on the Galaxy phones and I'm sure Samsung is going to add some more features to it in the future. But are you using these features? That is the question. Now if you ask me, uh, I don't use call assist. I don't need any real-time translation during voice calls. Then when it comes to chat assist, I do use it sometimes for uh, sending some formal emails. Then we have interpreter feature, which I don't use it. I may use it only when I go abroad, maybe once or twice in a year. Uh, otherwise, I don't really need uh, interpreter feature. Next, when it comes to note assist, I don't really use it, but there are a lot of people who take a lot of notes uh, would be using this feature. Then we have transcript assist. Again, I don't use this feature at all. Browsing assist, I don't use it. Photo assist, yeah, maybe sometimes I do use photo assist just to play around with my images uh, or portraits. Uh, so that will be really useful sometimes uh, just to erase some objects or you know add some uh, special effects to the photos. Photo assist will be useful. So sometimes I do use this feature. Then we have drawing assist, something which I don't use. Photo ambient wallpaper, again, I don't know why is this linked to AI. Uh, this is there, I don't use it. Then we have got health assist, which could be useful as well. Now this is a big list of features that we have got, but I hardly use some of them. And this could be the use case scenario with a lot of people out there. Maybe you don't use all of them, maybe you'll be using some of the features. Now the point here is, should Samsung introduce the subscription-based AI features on the Galaxy devices or not? Now of course, they are into business, they want to monetize this feature in the future, so that is what they are uh, thinking about. But as users, do you think we are going to subscribe to these features? Now that is the question. Now if Samsung comes up with a package for this entire list of features then it's a big no for me I'm not going to use it but if they're coming up with something like separate subscription fee for separate features then that could be interesting depending on your requirement you will be able to select the feature that you want if it is really important in your life then you may want to pay for that feature but as a package I don't think I would be interested uh, in this now for example Google charges almost about $20 for its AI features which are integrated in all the Samsung uh, applications and they charge almost about $20 which is about 1900 to 2000 rupees in India that is quite expensive and a lot of you guys did mention that it's quite expensive you're not going to go for it and something similar may happen with Samsung if they start charging for the entire list of features at an expensive price tag so maybe Samsung should reconsider it I'm not very sure it's too early to say how they're going to charge for these AI features let's wait and see that I'll keep you guys posted but my question to you is whether you are going to subscribe for these AI features how important is it for you let me know in the comment section. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. If you find this video informative, you get to learn a lot of things on the channel. If you're interested in technology or uh, Samsung Galaxy phones, Android phones, Galaxy watches, anything related to tech, you will be learning a lot. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.